Whoa, yeah, swear to God I'm with it I don't see nobody in my lane It's quite go get it like me Whoa, please don't be wasting my time with that business Who are you kidding, man? Yeah, 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 yeah Okay We're here, we finally made it to the gym. Better late than never, they say. It is the next morning, it's actually day number four of the transformation. Um, I did not take a weigh in yesterday, which kind of pissed me off. I, I basically, I just, <laughs> I did not have the energy, man. <sighs> I've got to be honest, um, you know, cutting out carbohydrates completely after having copious amounts for, for a, a week and a half straight has not been the easiest of tasks and I'm still struggling with it but what I will say and what I'm quite pleased about is that my face is slowly but surely coming back to what it looked like post show and that's honestly that's half the battle man <laughs> that's that's half that's half the reason why I'm doing this is just so I feel better when I look at myself on camera <laughs> because I am a youtuber and that is important I don't want to feel fat every time I look at myself we're getting there. So we're outside. Snap Fitness, you brought it. Um, I have stayed consistent. This is the gym that I'm going to be using throughout this transformation. And it's going to be the scales that I use also. So that's what we need to do first. I'm going to get in there. I'm going to weigh myself. I'm going to get my, get my back workout in because I didn't get it in yesterday. Instead of going to the gym like I talked about, I actually went for another run. So I did a cardio day yesterday. We did weights the day before and we did cardio on the first day. So today is going to be weight specific as well as any cardio that I do want to include. Um, I am running on zero carbohydrates right now. Any, any calorie that I do burn in this session is going to be straight fat loss. I know that and that makes me quite um, excited to get in there. So guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the scales. And here we are. Okay, so this is pre-workout, pre-workout weigh-in, and fully clothed, of course. So let's have a look. Okay. 91.65 kg, uh, we started this transformation, oh there's a shower behind there, <laughs> I didn't actually know that, um, I'm going to jump in here, it's a bit, it's a bit loud out there, uh, 91.6 kgs, first thing in the morning, we started this transformation almost exactly 3 days ago, exactly 72 hours ago, the time is 5.51am on November the 7th, 2020, and I'm about to smash a back workout, effectively, uh, seeing as we started this transformation at 96.3 kg, that is 5 kgs of that, that is a 5 kg weight loss, including clothes. Um, excluding clothes, who knows? Hopefully, we'll be under 90. Wouldn't that be good? Um, I'm going to take in a lot of water. I haven't really taken in too much this morning, uh, so we're going to, you know, hopefully get a good sweat up, and that weight might not actually drop, uh, but we'll see. 20 pounds in six days, can we do it? I think we can. Okay, here we are. Um, this is uh, moi, Jacob McDonald, checking in at 7.07 a.m. on November the 7th. I'm about to weigh in. I've got a t-shirt on. It's not gonna weigh too much. Um, actually, you know what? No, I'll take it off. Next minute. Take the straps off. We did train back, I'm happy to say, and it was a very effective workout. I'm just hoping that this is going to autofocus. Yes it is. Okay. Take these off. So I trained back and biceps, um, and this is how the physique's looking. I can see certain lines that are coming out more, uh, you know, more prominent, more defined than when we first started this. My legs are getting more separation in them as I continue to flatten out. 
Um, but I'm certainly not where I was, I'm not back where I was post, uh, sorry, uh, pre-show, post-show. So, moment of truth. Okay, so the moment you've all been waiting for is the weigh-in, which we're just about to do. Um, once again, I am six foot one, or 185 centimeters. We've been doing this weight cut for almost, almost 72 hours. So we started this with no clothes on, uh, weighing 96.3 kg. So if I check in and I'm under 90, that is over 6.3 kilograms lost so far. And that's, a, that's an effective weight cut. But it hasn't been easy, man, so let's go. Enough talking. Enough talking, that's for sure. Come on. Oh. Okay, it's times like these, I wish I took a weight without the camera in my hand, but that is 90.1 kilograms. Okay. 90.1, that means we've had a weight loss of 6.2 kilograms so far. Alright my friends, we're home now, once again. Uh, the camera actually ran out of battery, that's a first. So, not ideal, but uh, we did get the weigh-in on camera, thank God. I would have been really pissed off if we couldn't. So the weigh-in officially today was 90.1 kg. That is a weight loss of 6.2 kilograms so far. And just before we go... Fucking hell, my arm is sore. This, this camera is light as a feather and it's hurting my arm because of the fact I'm so carb, de carb depleted and uh, I've just trained. So 6.2 kgs in pounds, 13.67 pounds, guys. <laughs> so we have, oh shit, we've got less than 7 pounds to go. Um, I am not dehydrated by any means at this point, which means that I could easily probably drop another kg and a half or two just by smashing through a big workout and not consuming any water. So I reckon we're going to do it, which is pretty exciting. Um, you know, I don't know what this video series is going to is going to lead to but it's fun for me you know this is this is fun you know it's fun it's exciting that the fact that we as humans have the tools to change our body composition just through nutrition and a little bit of training you know that's that's fascinating to me and always has been and that's why i love bodybuilding and i also love the ufc so jorge masvidal thank you so much for the inspiration for this video uh we've done six 2 kgs which is 13.6 uh, pounds and I reckon we're gonna make it <laughs> so uh, guys I'm, I'm, uh, I'm back home now I haven't done any cardio today yet we just did a back and biceps workout and I'm about to go out on the streets and do about an hours an hours cardio um, it's 8 15 in the morning I've done 3181 steps and I've eaten nothing so I'll see you back here when I'm finished. It's probably going to be about 9.30. Uh, I've got a, a bodybuilding podcast to listen to. And anyone out there that, that struggles with, with, uh, with cardio and any long distance, I guess long steady state sort of cardio activities, find a podcast that you like. Seriously. Save it. Don't listen to it in the car. Listen to it whilst you're exercising. I've actually had to do that. I've had to literally, you know, podcasts will come up. I want to watch it right then and there. But I'll know that uh, you know, it's, it's probably in my best interest to save that up and use it and, and, and listen to it um, at a time when I'm doing cardio to make it that much easier. So yeah, that's just a, a little tip from me to you. But in the meantime, I'm gonna get my drink bottle with my amino acids and I'll see you soon. All right guys, I just got back. Just got back from the walk. Um, I can thank Fuad Abiyad and the Real Bodybuilding Podcast for that. Uh, so thanks, Fuad. That was easy. 90 minutes, brisk walk, um, no sweat, just uh, just keeping the body moving, you know, keeping this cut um, rolling, so to speak. Uh, so I haven't eaten yet. My first meal is going to be salmon, avocado some cashew nuts, a drink of aminos, and another drink of water, and another drink of Diet Coke. So, yeah, I mean, there's probably, there might be 20 grams of carbs in the whole meal. A lot of fat, 
and a decent amount of protein. Um, probably more fat, definitely more fat than protein, but, but that, is, that is a true ketogenic diet, you know what I mean? Um, I'm not going to continue the ketogenic diet, but I am doing it pretty much properly. And what that means is that, you know, when you're in a fat burning mode, when you are in ketosis, you are burning fat for fuel. You know, when, when, you, when you ingest too much protein and you think you're on a keto diet, uh, you're not because uh, you know excess protein is, is going to be broken down into glucose for your body to use you know your body your body uh, wants to, to grab glucose um, to use from 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 all corners of the body you know what I mean until there's literally nothing left which is how I feel right now I feel very depleted but that's all part of the the, the process so I can only imagine how Jorge Masvidal felt you know if he wasn't completely full to the brim of, of glycogen at 190 pounds like I was, uh, 10, 20 pounds is, is a stretch, but I had, you know, I had been eating well, um, and I clearly had this excess weight to lose, and so that's what we're doing. Guys, thank you so much for being here. That is my 100,000 subscriber YouTube plaque. It's one of the most proudest moments um, of my life, and uh, I've got you guys to thank for it. So if you haven't subscribed, consider it. There's going to be plenty of content to come. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.